what charges? On what charges? <laughs> wow. That was the moment dashcam video released by ACLU of Michigan shows a Taylor police officer breaking Calvin Jones' car window and pulling him out of the vehicle. The driver, Mr. Jones, refused to provide his personal information to the police officer until he was informed of the reason for the stop, which is within his rights. The officer is obligated to disclose the reason for the stop to the driver. Let me know, like, what's going on? Like, what, 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 what happened? What, what, what? I'd be, like I said, I'd be happy to tell you once I, I see information. I'm not giving you my information until you tell me what you pulled me over for. All right, sir. Failure to give me my information is a restful offense, okay? So you can either do this the easy way or the hard way, all right? I need to know what you're pulling me over for. I'm going to tell you once I see information, all right? I'm going to I got information, but I'm not giving you my information. Until you tell me what you put. Alright, here's, here's, here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. I'm just saying, I, you gotta let me know what's going on. Alright, here's the deal. For all I know, you could be trying to kill me right now. You're absolutely ridiculous, alright? I don't care. Alright, step out of the it's car. Been, it's been too many. I'm not stepping out the car because, until you tell me what's going on. Alright, open the door. Hey, you gotta let me know what's going on, man. You're not going to. You're going to jail is what's going on. For what? You ain't. Which charges? On which charges? <laughs> wow. Police officers' use of force in breaking the driver's window may be viewed as an act of property destruction. Police officers are generally allowed to use physical force when it's required to make an arrest or defend themselves or others from harm, but the amount of force must be proportionate under the circumstances. If an officer didn't have good reason to believe that the driver posed an immediate threat to public safety, Breaking a car window to remove the driver would likely be regarded as using more force than necessary. Yet, as can be seen, it doesn't seem to be the case. We can learn four things from this situation. 1. Right to no reason for stop. In Michigan, as in most states in the US, police officers are required to have reasonable suspicion or probable cause to stop a vehicle or detain an individual. In this case, the driver was within his rights to ask the officer why he was being stopped, and the officer should have provided a valid reason for the stop. 2. Refusal to provide identification. While individuals have the right to know the reason for a stop, they are also required to provide identification to police officers when asked to do so. If the driver refused to provide his identification, the officer may have had cause to detain him for failure to identify himself. 3. Use of force. Breaking the driver's window and pulling him out of the car may be considered excessive force if it was not necessary to effect the arrest. The officer's use of force must be reasonable and proportional to the circumstances, and should not exceed what is necessary to achieve a legitimate law enforcement purpose. 4. Arrest. If the driver was arrested, he would have been taken into custody and charged with a crime. 
The specific charges would depend on the circumstances surrounding the incident and any applicable laws in Michigan. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date on the latest true crime news and insights, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified every time we release new content. And as always, if you have any suggestions for future videos or want to share your own true crime stories, leave us a comment below. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.